I'm testing this jet engine on four different fuels, jet fuel, diesel, biodiesel, and hydro diesel to see which one makes the most power. I'm using this jet engine in some upcoming episodes and I'm doing some experimentation. This thing sounds absolutely insane. So I just had to share my testing with everybody. First thing I have to do, build a jet dyno. Now that I have the thrust dyno all finished and I think it came out awesome, I'm gonna show you the four fuels I'm gonna be using for these runs. And funny enough, projects like this is not what I acquired the water jet for, but after some experimentation, realizing its precision, I decided to use it for projects like this to give people ideas on what types of equipment that they can use to make their ideas come to life. And I think it came out pretty amazing. Oh no. Well, I could have got. There's definitely ice in there. That's really interesting. All right, let me try this again. Here we go. All in. Boom. 5,000 on the dot. That's the coolest looking fuel I've ever seen. This fuel always trips me out whenever I see it. It just looks like it won't burn. Just doesn't make sense in my mind. There's actually ice, but I did get the summer version of the diesel, but I'm glad I did because now this proves that 20% water. That's really cool. My hydro diesel has been sitting outside for over a year. I got it all defrosted. I got all my fuels set up, ready to go. The only thing I have left to do is add oil to all of my fuels for my turbine. Okay, I got everything all set up. The ECU, the fuel pump, and the jet engine. Here we go, this is gonna be Jet A fuel on the dyno.
All right, so that was it for the jet fuel. It used about a thousand milliliters, more or less. So now on to the diesel. All right, let's go. Here goes the jet dyno run on diesel fuel this time. Here we go. Okay, so one thing I did notice about that run that was a little bit different, with the jet fuel, when I would idle it down, it would reduce the RPM really quickly. It was pretty responsive. And with the diesel fuel, I noticed when I went from full throttle to idle, it took about two seconds for it to actually start ramping down. So I don't know why that is. Maybe the fuel, different consistency or different energy content. And it used about the same amount of fuel. But other than that, the only thing I saw different was the way it smelled and how it looked when I shut the engine off. Let's move on to the uh, biodiesel. Man, this sucker's heavy. I'm scared I'm going to drop it. This right here is why a FOD screen is really important here at the lower altitudes. Here we go again, this time biodiesel.
That was biodiesel. It sounded slightly different and it seems to have burned less fuel than the diesel. Just a little bit less. I did the same run, which was warm it up, do 20 seconds full throttle, 20 seconds at idle, 20 seconds at full throttle, cool down and then shut it off. I did the exact same sequence with my timer and it definitely burned less fuel. Now moving on to what I've been anticipating since I started this video, which is hydro diesel. It's 80% diesel, 20% water, and let's see if the jet engine is gonna burn it. That's the last fuel I'm testing. Here's a summary of the results. Now with the difference between those four fuels, one thing that a lot of people brought up in that turbo diesel go-kart video, I'm using different fuels. A lot of people were commenting saying that the fuels that I'm using didn't have the sulfur content that the diesel had, and that was some sort of lubricator, even though now, that everything is ultra low sulfur. They're saying that there's less lubrication with those other fuels. That is something I'm curious about, but I'm not gonna do that test. For that, I'm gonna send the four fuels that I used here to my guy at Project Farm, the master at lubricity tests, if you've seen any of his videos. So he's gonna be dropping a video soon in connection with this one, where he does all of the lubricity tests between the four fuels that I tested here. So go to his channel, check that out, and look out for that video. I hope everybody enjoyed this episode. I went through a lot of trouble and a lot of work, not only building this thing, but trying to capture the audio from this engine, the way we would hear this engine run if we can bear the decibel level. And I think it came out pretty good. 
But other than that, um, hopefully you enjoyed this subject. This is something that I'm very familiar with and a subject I've been meaning to bring to this channel for a very long time. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.